Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. I'm your host Mr. Gazillion and in the last episode I said I would go equip Lenora with the latest and greatest and as you can see I did just that. Um, I did have the wizard's hat equipped by accident. Uh, I mean I already had it in the item so I bought it uh, a second time so it took me a bit longer. There is a chocobo cave uh, forest to the north with a white chocobo. And honestly, with the freaking low encounter rate... Oh, there's a white chocobo in this one too. There's such a low encounter rate in these forests, that's unbelievable. So gaining levels took forever. And I didn't really want to gain levels so much as I just wanted to uh, get money. Um, so anyway, it took a little bit longer. Uh, if you are looking to do the same thing, I would go to the north because the monsters were a little bit tougher, were a little bit better. Uh, they gave a little bit more XP and a lot more gold, so it made things a little bit faster. Um, we did gain... Sorry, I always gain levels before I go in a new area. I probably shouldn't have just started the game. Um, I did gain a new band ability, but I don't really know what it does yet because I haven't had the chance to use it. But practices weaving black magic increases attack by 5%. So, I don't know what that does. Does it boost my attack? Like, or do I do an attack and then a side effect of the ban actually ups my attack as well? Who knows? Probably not gonna use it, because um, she's gonna be our dedicated caster. Uh, I should say healer. Ah uh, yes, the Tower of Trials. A tower that wasn't there in the first game. They erected that tower pretty freaking quickly if you ask me. So, let's see how it goes. I kind of wish this uh, game had a voice acting like in the first Final Fantasy IV remake. This, uh, this is the Tower of Trial. Trials? Yeah, looks like it. Never been here before. Palom shouldn't have been in Troya. What's on the top floor, anyway? The, the monastic seal. So you grab that, come back, and you're knee popped. Y yeah. Why are you so nervous, Lenora? Come on, get a grip. You're with the great Palom. Oh, great Earth Crystal, who has, who hath blessed us with this great bounties of the land. For the clear water and lush forests, you have be, 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 be I'm sorry, I've never seen that word before. Be, bequeathed us. <laughs> Oh boy, I offer you our thanks and our prayers. I guess the fact that English is not my first language is uh, coming out right now. Whoops. Well, glad to see you can recite your prayers at least. Yes, I. Uh, are, are you ready to go, Lord Palum? God, Lord was my dad. I'm just Palum. Or you can call me Great Sage if you want. Let's make something clear first. Y yes Could you knock it off with that Lord Palin bullshit? Uh, but, 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 but... I'm pretty sure we're the same age. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm actually two years older than you. Oh yeah? Good for you, but don't expect me to start calling you Miss Lenora or anything. Uh, th that's per perfectly fine with me, Lord Palin. Uh, like I said, enough of the Lord. Y yes, Palum. That's better. Now let's get this on the. Whoa, he's just floating over the stairs. Palum, I didn't cast float. Anything around here that's neat? Maybe I can pick something up on these statues. Nope. Um, I did find a bunch of stuff in the uh, Chocobo Forest to the north of uh, Troya. Mostly uh, Phoenix Downs and Ethers and stuff. Nothing crazy. But definitely uh, handy. Ethers are kind of expensive. I don't even know if they sell them in this uh, town. Well, here we are. Yeah? Ready to start with your training? Certainly. Please tell me what, what I need to do. Uh, let's begin with the basic. That would be fire. You know what fire is? What is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's a fire attack. 
You know, like those candles. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Duh. Sorry, I'm... That's it. Wait, w w what? That's it? Come on, Lenora. I thought they said you had talent. The first thing you need with magic is the ability to project an image of the magic in question. That's part of the idea behind sp spell transcription, too. Clear your mind and create an image of pure fire, then project it onto reality. So easy, I do that like in my sleep. Everything burns when I sleep. Man, there you go. Wow, that's amazing! That's just fire one. Now you do it. That's right, with your staff. Whoa, not on me! On those... What are you doing? Here, here's what you'll be practicing on. Now go on. Uh, okay. F -f fire Scorching red flames burning brightly. The searing fire of a furnace. Alright, you don't really need to... You don't really need to do all that stuff. Just... Just say fire like the rest of us, please. You're being lame. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, that's enough. Okay, not bad. Now let's see how well you do in a real battle. A real battle? Training has no meaning if you can't do it in a real-life situation, right? Can you maintain your composure and visualize that image with a monster staring you down? That's the key. Maintain your composure. Contain your main posure. You've lost it already, haven't you? No, no, I can do it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long night. Why is she the first one here? Can't, can't I switch this? Oh well, she's the one in training, might as well have her in the lead. <clears throat> I hate that they made her into some sort of pansy. You know, you'd think uh, someone who's being trained to be an EPOP would have some sort of, like, composure or I don't know. Not be such a pansy. Alright, good. Fire against these things should be their weak spot. And of course Lenora is going to focus on healing duty because she's so freaking slow. And Palom does all the work, of course. With any good XP? Uh, decent XP, actually. I could have come here to, to train prior to the episode, but then I would have missed out on all that uh, sweet, sweet, uh, uh, those scenes. You gotta have those scenes in the episode. I know you guys, that's what you all crave. The story. Alright, a little bit of practice. Yeah, that's right. Can you cast it? Can you do it with a monster staring you down? Come on, Lenora. Before I do all the work. Too slow, Fatso. Yeah, I'm acting uh, Palom as a little shit, aren't I? Oop, oh, that wasn't enough, it seems. And the Lunara... God dang it. I'm just gonna use a uh, Thunder Rod on, on this thing. Just because I don't feel like wasting mana, and you know what? Thunder right there was good enough. Hope she gains a level, and she did! Some strength, some speed, and some spirit. Which, has, that's good, but doesn't really help out with her fire magic. Ooh, Palom gained a level too. Not bad. Let's make her heal. Okay... Just a little one. Nothing big. There you go. It's time Lenora teaches uh, Palom a little bit of uh, white magic. I think that's the whole point of this training. Ooh, is that a mini mage? What is that? Huh? A guardian, huh? Here, you try fighting this one by yourself. But 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 by myself? Come on, yeah, by yourself. Now go on. You're two years older than I am. You should be, you know, be able to do this. Thought you had some talent. That's right. Should have whipped out some rods for you, knowing that you'd have to do all this black magic. Come on, fire on the mini red. And try to cast it before he does. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, don't bow too much. You're not out of this yet. That was a weak fire spell. 
Gonna have to up your intellect. Ooh, she learned fire for real. I, I did it! Ugh, it's nothing to be excited about. That's just one of the building blocks. You can eventually upgrade into higher level magic. Higher level magic? You're a white mage, it works the same way for black magic. You got Cure and Cura, like there's Fire and Fire. Fire and then Firega. The more powerful the spell, the more you'll need to concentrate your energy. And they keep adding syllables, so you have to really concentrate to pronounce it. I'll, I'll try. Hmm, do or do not, there is no try. Of course, most people give up at this point, but... Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, you don't need to heal right away. What? Another in it? What's this? Huh? Didn't think I'd see one of these. Well, what's that? It's a healing pot. Take a, look, take a look. You'll regain your HP and MP. You saw them all over the world back in the day. We used them quite a bit when we defeated Zeromus. What is it? We mages are just regular people when we run out of MP. I, I understand, I'll be careful about that. Uh, well, I guess I did both of them. Man, 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 Lenora, you've got a long way to go. Do I have to explain to you how to open treasure chests? I'm glad I don't have to. And <laughs> you'll learn the hard way that opening, a, going around, what, what, what's this? That uh, exploring around here is pretty freaking useless. On a second floor. So, Lenora, what do you do for fun? Uh, what do you mean? Don't people have fun in Troya? Oh, great. These things are weak against fire, so... You can tell by their color. Just cast it. Come on, Lenore, you could do this whole battle by yourself. I kind of wish to do the uh, animation on uh, every single one of them at the same time, instead of one at a time. There you go. It's a little black magic. A little black magic. It's a little black magic. I might need to work on my queen uh, singing a little bit. Sorry for the eardrums, guys. Alright, this is a saving spot, Lenora. You can save when you're on it. Like we're doing now. Actually, I'm just gonna do it on a different spot. You save on a different spot. You can use a Tantor Cottage, but careful. You might want to watch the moon phases, because right now, um, black magic is up. Which is key. Are you ready for this? I sense another guardian ahead. Go herbs, phoenix down. <laughs> Probably have to use a phoenix down on Lenora. How convenient. One guardian per floor. Lame. You're up, Lenora. Ooh, me, me? Come on, you beat one, the first one. Well, I'm not the one in training here, am I? No, no, no but... Good luck, kid. I can do this. Ooh, she just makes her staff appear. Oops, nope. Yeah. Fire! Scorching flame! There you go. Easy breezy. Lemon squeezy. See, and you gain levels, and you got Cura, see? Now you're getting the gist of it. I'm so good, I did it, Lord Palum. Oh boy. I mean, Palum? Yeah, that's better, I guess. That was passable, at best. Black magic is certainly harder to learn than white magic. It's not a matter of difficulty. Most people are just better suited towards one or the other. That's why you get called a sage if you've mastered both black and white magic. 
Huh? Wait a minute. That isn't what you're training to become, is it? What? Oh, of course not. Never in my wildest dreams. That's what I thought. Let's continue. Huh. Uh-oh. Is he feeling the threat? Does he feel like she's about to take his place as the great sage of Mizdia instead of one of the Epops? How about we tackle Blizzard next? You, you mean ice magic? Uh, right, but don't think about ice. Think about the feeling of cold itself. The cold itself? Hmm, cold there, cold, cold, cold? You got the idea, even if you are scaring me a little bit. Oh. Cold, cold, cold. Snowstorm, blistering feet, frostbite. Well, you certainly look cold anyway. I I'm doing my best, like the best I can. Do it again, do it better. Blizzard! There you go. Okay, that's enough. There, you're starting to get it. I think so. But that's one seriously creepy face you're making. Gonna have to make it more natural. Seriously, Lenora, come on. I don't want to tell people you've trained me. I can't put you on my resume if you're looking like that. Now, where do we go for treasures? You know, uh, you know how to get around this place? What's, uh, what's over here? Why are there two, two places we can go by? So we got a tent and holy arrows, but we didn't buy a bow, so what's the point? All right, we've been ambushed. That's the funnest kind of battle. Oh man, I don't even do any damage. It's not even a challenge. And I don't think it's because I uh, I gain levels, because to be honest, uh, I didn't gain that many. This game in general is kind of a cakewalk. Most of the monsters in the forest were imps, or I should say uh, goblins with those uh, porcupines. They're like initial level monsters. It's kind of embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but it's definitely a cakewalk. I don't really know why they'd make it so easy. Oh, there you go. And a free pot. Ta-da! Yeah, I, I have to say that I'm enjoying this uh, chapter a lot more, though, because in the uh, previous chapters, like, it just felt like a rehash of all the other ones. But in this one, I actually feel like they're trying to kind of make, like, some headway with the story. So maybe we're not, you know, discovering too much about who the uh, that uh, Lunarian girl is and why she's uh, kidnapping slash destroying all the Edelons. But at least, you know, at least Palom is getting some backstory and we're finding out what kind of drives him as a character. Because in the first game, he didn't have enough time to really develop as a character. He was a little bit of a brat, which he is now still. Excuse me. He's still kind of a brat, but uh, at least he's knowing he wants to be a sage, so... I mean, clearly, I think this is what's happening right now. He's gonna learn some white magic by the end of this chapter. So, which probably means we're probably not gonna have Palom and Param in the same... Uh, in the same uh, party in uh, this game. Because they did share uh, an ability in the first game called Twin Cast. Um... The casting time on Twiscan, Twin Cast was really slow, but it was pretty freaking powerful. And I never really understood how the, the abilities work. Because um, you could either cast Flare or cast... Um, uh, what was it? There was another one. You could cast Flare or... Uh, Comet, I think. Yeah, it was Comet. And Comet, I, from what I remember, was a lot more powerful. Oh, of course, he'll destroy everything before she can cast a heal. I've been, uh, and I'll watch some things. I watch AC Bailey and uh, Plump Helmet Punk. They're both doing a Let's Play of, um, of the remake, which is kind of nice. But 
HC Bailey has been kind of slow in releasing episodes. And Plump Helmet Punk is kind of uh, on a on a break right now, so I don't think he's gonna. Either one of them are really gonna finish the uh, this their series. Well, no, sorry, Plump's not gonna finish the series, but HC Billy's gonna take a while. Um, you'd like me to handle this one too, right? Of course. Now just keep that creepy face of yours going. Wait, shouldn't she stop doing the creepy face? Now she's doing a sad face. That definitely looks like a nice guardian, so. Let's cast a little bit of a blizzard spell on him. Easy peasy. Blizzard question mark. Ouch. Can't take too many of those. Hopefully that'll kill them all. Nope. Okay, this is bad. Um, this is also bad. Uh, oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? How? What? Oh, I thought she was dead on that one. Whew. Okay, this is getting really out of hand. Oh, it's because these guys have freaking... Oh, thank god. These guys have uh, black magic, and right now with the full moon, bland magic's at its max. Ugh. That was way too close for comfort, guys. I almost got one of those embarrassing losses again. And she didn't get a much needed level up. That's unfortunate. Dun -dun 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 -dun. All right. Yeah, I did it! Ugh, there's still thunder to go. You got a long way to go if you want to be a sage. Are you seriously trying here? I'm sorry. It took you two freaking turns with a level one blizzard to do that? I'm not looking for an apology or anything. I I'll try even harder from now on. So so teach me more, Palum, please. Can I ask you a question? Yes, what is it? An Epop shouldn't need to know black magic for her job. So why are you so set on learning this stuff? I, uh... I want to further my mind and spirit. Troy's peaceful nation. It's epops aren't supposed to be fighting battles, but there's something weird going on this in this land. You know, things ringing a bell for you all, uh, for you at all. Oh wait, that was Pal, not Lenora. Ugh. Okay, guys, don't want to talk about it. I see. All right, don't talk about it then. All right, I guess we're gonna need to heal you up. Ah, uh, good enough. And let's go up. One more floor. All right. So next up's Thunder, right? Yeah, let's get started. Okay, this is kind of lame. I didn't really need to go through three floors to learn three different spells. Uh, I didn't read that by accident. Did she learn thunder? Nobody knows. Thunder! There you go. Okay, that's enough. Wonder if she needed to use MP for that. What happens if she runs out? You're certainly getting into the swing of things now. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's being a little shit, isn't he? Don't get too confident. This is usually the point where people let their ego sink them. Uh, yeah, I understand. Alright, so... Nothing here. Oh yeah, it's down here. Okay, treasure... A healing staff, which we already have. Nothing here, just have to check. So there's two places we can go. There's a down... There's, oh, actually, there's multiple. Oh, that's the center of it. Okay, I get it. No problem. And Palom's gonna do all the work here. So this is the kind of encounter you'd actually find in the north forest near the near the Chocobo Forest, north of Troya. Okay, Lenora, you don't need to <laughs> don't need to take on everything yourself. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make her heal herself, because I don't think she could survive another battle like the last one. There you go. 
And by last one, I mean against those uh, Ice Guardians. Because uh, with Palom, there's really no problem. Because he does all the work. Okay, here's a healing pot. That's a sign. Ugh. No, that's not what I wanted. Thankfully, it happened right next to the healing pot. We can just use it again. No problem. Huzzah. I, I would like to see uh, Palom gain some more spells, too. What I really enjoyed about um, the uh, first game was that uh, when you first get Palom and Param, I would uh, actually uh, spend a lot of time training them because I enjoyed having them become uh, useful mages in my party, right? And having Tella in the party made it seem like he was teaching them to be better mages. That's the kind of role-playing I like doing as a kid when I would play these games. Which I kind of still do kind of in my head, I just, you know, don't say it out loud or anything. Okay, I guess there was no uh, Thunder Sage here. Thunder Sage! Okay, these guys are weak against... Uh, I don't know if they're weak against ice, but I'm pretty sure they're immune against fire, so... A little bit of Blizzara, and uh, if that doesn't do him in, you can just heal your... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Just... Uh, there we go. Yeah, the interface to use an item is really not intuitive. Compared, like, I feel like I should just be able to double-click on there. And Palom does all the work. Perfect. Yep. Okay, I need decent XP here. I'd like to see Lenora gain one more level before the next Guardian fight. Nope. She must be near, though. Or did we just gain one, actually? Uh, 1200. That's a couple of fights against those flaming dudes, so... It could happen. You know, since we're going for the treasures, another tent for some reason. I don't know why we've been given so many tents. Seriously, guys, I think we have how many? We have two... T oh, we only have two. I thought we had more. I thought I had found some in the village. But I haven't used any. And there's nothing there. And let's go here. Do, 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 do. I think this is the Mount Ordeal music, actually. Or is it the mountain music? Because it's definitely not dungeon music. Do, 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 do. Oh, no encounters here. That's good, I guess. Any treasure? Yes, there is. Ooh, this could be a good one. Blizzara! And uh, I guess do Blizzard as well, just in case it doesn't take care of everyone. Bam! I uh, know it did. And... Uh, nah. Oh, level for him though. That's kind of handy. With more uh, intellect. Or was it stamina? Ooh. Now, I'm not sure if I should be giving that to, uh, okay, Spirit? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give that to her. Which is unfortunate, because she's casting a lot of black magic right now, so I feel like having a black magic boosting item would probably be best. Though, I guess I could always equip her with a nice rod or something. Would that raise it by a lot, or just a little bit? Nice rod, 14. Yeah, but look at everything, it lowers it lowers the rest quite a bit. Maybe if I would have had a Thunder Rod, I could have bought a second Thunder Rod. Having known that uh, I would have been teaching her this kind of stuff, I probably would have done it. But I really thought she'd just be her caster, instead of being the one doing all those mini boss battles by herself. But thankfully... Um, I'm gonna use, cause I think the, that spirit guy is uh, is actually strong, uh, immune to fire, but I don't think that the like, skeletons are strong against ice, so I think Blizzaro is probably the best way to go. Let's see if we made a bad decision. And nope, we're fine. And there goes a level up for our good friend. Maybe not actually. Oh yeah. No intellect, but more spirit. So that's... Ooh, and she learned poison. She's learning black magic. That's kind of nice. Way to go, Lenora! Okay. 
Okay, waning moon means... Yee, that's actually not very good for us. Because we're using only magic. At least the magic's neutral, but I mean, any creature that has physical attacks is gonna be pretty, pretty strong against us. But I guess 25 is not the end of the world. You know what, just do a mini heal. Oh, I think Palom's probably gonna get it first. Ooh, yeah. So it's probably not gonna proc, because they're all gonna die. But since the game's so easy, I'm betting that they're gonna give us a healing pot soon, so what's the point really? Are we near the stairs? Uh nearish. Oh. There we go. Did I call it or did I call it? And that means that there's probably going to be a Thunder Guardian over here. Yep. What color are they? You're up again. I won't let my ego get the best of me. Don't tell me. Show me. Show, not tell. Destroy this little guy. Okay. He might not... He's, he's done nothing to me, though. What are you doing? Why are you, what are you doing? That was the weirdest animation. Alright. Thankfully, actually, black magic is down now, so... Yeah, 27 now, so... That's gonna... That should be pretty easy. Ooh. She's pretty weak, uh... Okay, I guess some of them are stronger than others? 29? Why did the first one do, like, 50-something? That's odd. But she's... Ooh, that guy did a lot, too. I'm probably gonna have to do a healing spell after this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I am not liking this at all. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Please do a 29, 20... Ooh, no, 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 no! Please, 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 please do this first. Or should I do Cure first? Oh my god, I'm so dead. No! Do a small one, please! Ah, oh, thank god. Yes! Oh, that was so close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like the equivalent of uh, a few cr magical crits there. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna heal after this turn. Hopefully, if they don't uh, end up getting killed. There you go. Much better. I'd rather this than the uh, other way around. And, ooh, an either. Or either? Either? I always said either. Lenora gains thunder. Hurrah! Oh, brother. Well, you're now officially mastered the basis of black magic. But don't think that's the end of it. You've only just made it to the starting line. Yeah, yes, Palum. Black magic's all about knowing the properties of things, their weakness and strengths. Which magic works back then? What type of target? You need to have that knowledge drilled into you. Yeah, yes, it's all a matter of training, I suppose. That's right. And you don't have a natural talent for it. You'll just have to work that much harder. Especially if you keep equipping spirit-boosting spirit items instead of intellect. Up ahead, we should be finding that emblem you need. Alright, let's go. What do we have here? The Tower of Trials. What does this stone tablet say? It can't be a prophecy, because this tower wasn't here 12 or 15 years ago. Yeah, how old is Palom anyway? He acts like he's like a bratty teenager, but he must have been, I don't know, maybe 8 or 10 in the first game. And if it's been 13 years, 15 years since the first game, because Theodore's in his mid-teens, that makes him in his 20s. So it's kind of odd that he's being a little shit. This looks like the top floor, man. Yes, it is. Let's see here. The monastic seal is the very words etched on this plinth. Plinth? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's really stupid. So simply getting here is good enough. 
<sighs> if that's all you need to do to be a Trojan, Hip-Hop, then you have to wonder what kind of... Stop it, please! Huh? You can say whatever you want to, 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 you want to about me, I don't care, but when it comes to the Epops, I won't just stand here and let you insult them right in front of my face. Uh, Lenora? I love how gen gentle and kind everyone in Troy has been to, strange to a stranger like me. Maybe it doesn't seem like much to some magical prodigy like you, but... Uh, sorry, I, I wasn't trying to make fun of them. Hmm. But listen, you're probably a lot better off without any natural talent. If you're a prodigy, then all that happens is you get lazy and quit pushing yourself to improve. Talent? I'm just saying, don't let yourself be satisfied with where you are now, okay? Anyway, let's head back. We've got a Nipop post to fill. Mm-hmm, okay. Well, is there anything around here? Are there treasures up here? I feel like there should be. Or, you know, some sort of secret entrance. Ugh. All right, so you do thunder for the back row and I'll do fire for the front row. Bam. Oh, looks like Palin's gonna have to finish it off. Of course. That should be decent XP though, right? I mean, six enemies, you have to use magic. Oh, only 500, that's actually not that great. And it doesn't seem like there's a secret en entrance anywhere here, unless... Yeah, okay, it's gonna be somewhere else. Maybe on the side? Do we have a... Oh, there you go. Duh. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm like opening and closing them. I wonder if they're, they're even worth it. <laughs> if we know one thing in this game is none of it is. Like, I mean, of course I I picked up a healing staff. Um, a healing staff when I was grinding for... Oh, why did I do... Th I don't know why I didn't do fire. So I picked up the healing staff for Lenora, so why would they give a freaking healing staff when we're in the dungeon, you know? Like, and it's kind of unnecessary. Yay, another level up. go. One treasure here. A remedy. See, like, what the heck? We're getting all these freaking items to uh, restore a status uh, effects, like silence and whatever. What, what, whatever, you know, any of them, really. And then freaking they give us, you know, none of the monsters actually do any of those things. Or if they do it, it's so rare that it's not even worth having the items with you. It's kind of pathetic, really. It's kind of boring. A, rem a remedy, like, what am I going to do with that? All these monsters are easy monsters that die in the first round. Warp! Oh, that's good. That means we can leave this dungeon without having to f fight our way out. It'll heal for everyone. Let's go get some more treasures. Uh, no switches here. And we get a cottage. And Hermes sandals. Again, why do we need a cottage? I mean, we might use it in the dark cave. The dark elf's cave. There's a dark... Okay. So in the first game, you have to go... When you're in Troya, you have to go to the... To the, um... To the Dark Elf's cave, uh, which is north of Troya, because um, he stole the, the the Earth Crystal. And in that cave, you can't use metal items. Any any metal item uh, item will basically uh, lower your like defense or whatever. It makes you pretty much useless. So you have to buy like cloth cloth items and wooden weapons and stuff like that. And so, anyway, 
I'm assuming we're gonna have to fight the Dark Elf or some sort of equivalent monster. Ah, uh, okay, how do I get to... F Why did I step on these then? Did I open that? How do you know if you opened it? Uh, kind of don't feel like it again right now, guys. So, there's no hint as to what I gotta do. They all sound the same when you step on them. So, what do I have to do here? Like, are they open now? What's going on? Uh, I don't care. I could always go Google it or something and find a walkthrough. I don't particularly care that much about it, though. But considering that it's the only treasure that we've ever seen that's actually hidden behind a puzzle. Maybe the slab says something about it. What did this say again? The monastic seal is the, the very words etched on this. Okay, we can't really see what those words are. Ugh. God damn. Unless we can walk into the walls around here? I really don't feel like it, guys. Seriously. Oh no, we... Oh, we didn't even... Oh my god. How do I open them? There's no hint, there's no nothing. I don't even know what I'm supposed to look for. Okay, let's try this one. Ugh. I really don't care still. I mean, I could gain levels, but I don't really care. I just want to open it. Like, would it appear on the map or what? Like, what's what am I opening here? Is there another like area where I can hug the wall and go through or something? God. Oh, you know what? I don't particularly care. Let's get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna... Actually, guys, I'm gonna find out because I feel like I'm never gonna come back up this tower. Be back in a bit. Okay, so... Apparently, you have to step on all the stone things. Um, except for the top left one. Now I'm not sure if I can reset these things, um, but I'm gonna go step on them again and it's not a path that's gonna open as much as um, there's a crack in the upper right area. And that's where you'll find what you need. This, and this, and so a crack in the floor or something. Oh, there you go. So, oops. Well, I suppose we can fight these ones. Yeah, so that was kind of annoying because there was really no indication that you could open um, anything. No, no hint or no nothing. 
So I was just like, is this a pattern I have to step on? Is it, you know, one opens one or, or what? So yes, I totally cheated, but only because this game is bad. Oh, of course it's bad, you couldn't figure it out. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. I suck. Agreed. Now, let's see here. Well, Lenora gained a level in that fight, so that was kind of good. Decided to cut it out just because, you know, who cares. And this is the reason why I decided to come here for it. A sage's surplus? Surplus? Um, I'm pretty sure Palom will be pissed about her having this item, considering that, you know, he's the one who wants to be a sage, but what are you gonna do, Palom? Well, let's warp the heck out of here. And... does that bring us... oh, that only brings us here. Oh, that's okay, there's actually a, a uh, item here that I would like to use. There we go. Get our MP back instead of using uh, the inn. And let's warp back. We'll get out of this tower, one way or another. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god, it just transitions between the two? What the heck is this? Uh, Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here and then I'll be back. And we're back guys. Um, I actually ch uh, missed a treasure at the beginning. It was an either on the left, just while coming in. I swear to god this was the longest freaking dungeon to backtrack through because the battle encounter rate was way too high and there's like freaking seven floors where you have to walk in big circles just honestly just really not pleasant I don't know what these guys were thinking when they decided like hey let's make them go all the way back and I don't know if it was a bug in the way the warp spell works but when I was using warp it would warp me between two different floors from what i remember of warp back in the old version it would actually just warp you between um <clears throat> excuse me it would warp you between uh two different like it would basically get you out of the dungeon one floor at a time so man not pleasant at all so basically this is how you avoid having to spend any money on an inn because there's a white chocobo right here and it gives you all your MP back. Oops, did not mean to get it twice. Now we'll travel back to Troya on the back of our favorite yellow chocobo. Avoid battles, walk over forest. Makes uh, walking around a pleasant experience. So I think it's a good time to end on channel. Um, I didn't want to uh, end it at the top of the... How do, how do I get off? Uh, I didn't want to end it at the top of the tower just in case a uh, story uh, like segment was triggered at the end of the tower, but that was not the case. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.